Hey everyone, my name is Lance Olson and today I'm going to show you how to make this painting. Here are the materials that you're going to need for this painting. An 8x10 canvas. You can actually use any size that you want. I try to use canvas sizes that are like the standard framing sizes, which I think are 4x6 inches, 5x7, 8x10, and 11x14. And the reason why I like to use those is because it's easier to find a frame at like Walmart or Hobby Lobby that you can just pick up and put this painting in and voila, you can hang it on your wall. For the background of this painting, you're going to need white paint and gray paint. I like to use this uh, glossy white paint that I get at Walmart. I actually like to start all my paintings with a fresh coat of white paint on the canvas. And the reason why I like to do this is because it makes like the layers on top of it easier to apply. A paintbrush to apply the paint to the background. This is a one and a half inch wide. You're gonna want like a relatively wide paintbrush just so you can get like more coverage quicker. For this one, we're using a stencil. This is a floral stencil. Whoops, was that upside down? A floral stencil that I really like. You can choose any floral stencil that you want and then spray paint for the flower. I use the Iron Lac spray paint. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but let me tell you guys something. The spray paint at Walmart, it's about the same price and oh my gosh, it covers so much better. So uh, you don't have to use this brand. Honestly, like the stuff at Walmart was fantastic. This color is called Smolder. I like to use a hot pink for, for the flowers. You can use whatever color you want. That's the color I chose. Uh, I'll show you the colors that I used in this painting, but feel free to change them up. I totally support that. Also, be sure to spray paint in a well-ventilated area and wear an appropriate mask for spray painting use. You're also going to need uh, palette knives and I'll show you why I chose these ones but you're going to want one that has like an angled edge and also one that has a flat tip. This is the paint that I use for the vase. This is the paint that I use for like the the leaves. They're not exactly leaves but the green parts of the painting and then I also had some red dots that I use this paint. All the paints that I'm using are acrylic. You're also going to need uh, paint pens. This is Polka brand. I really like these and it's fine. It's fine tip. So it's, it's not very wide. You will also need the cap of a lip balm stick. And the last thing you'll need is a smaller paintbrush. We're going to be using the end of it uh, to make some dots. Uh, yeah. So I think that covers all the materials that you will need. Uh, so let's get started. All right. So to begin with, paint the canvas white and then we're going to paint the very edges of it uh, that gray color and we're doing that just to add some dimension to the painting. Once that is dry, go ahead and put the stencil down wherever you want the flower to be and cover up any areas that you don't want the spray paint to land on. I use paper towels and then go ahead and spray paint the stencil. Okay, so the next part that we're gonna do is to make the vase. And this is where I used the angled palette knife. I actually wish that the angle was wider because it would have made it easier. See how this one is not angled? This gives me a little bit more uh, room to work with when I'm making these lines. So we're going to dip the edge of the palette knife in the blue paint and then just press it against the canvas and run it down to make your line. I also dragged it to the side a little bit to make the lines thicker and also to add a little bit of texture. Now we're going to use the paint pens. So choose a color that you want on your flower and we're going to use this to embellish the petals. All I did was I filled in some blank spots on the petals just to add some color. Then with the other paint pen, we're going to fill in between those lines that we made on the vase. Again, this is just to add some color and some texture. This is a fun part. Take your lip balm stick cap and you're going to dip it in some of that blue paint and stamp it along the bottom of the vase. We're doing this just to visually anchor the vase down so it doesn't look like it's just kind of floating around on the canvas. So I wanted to add some greenery to this because you know when you see a bouquet of flowers, there's usually 
leaves or there's some sort of green stuff in there so that's why I added these green little stick things and I used the uh, flat tip for this. I just dipped this in the green paint and then stamped it in different places around the flower and if I wanted the line to be a little bit longer I just stamped and dragged a little bit. And when I was looking at this, I didn't feel like it was done, so I wanted to add some little red dots. But you know how, I don't know what it's called, when you have a bouquet and you just need, I don't know, some filler. And they usually add baby's breath. Well, this is kind of what these red dots are serving. So you just, you know, dip the end of the paintbrush into the red paint and make your dots. And I tried to do uh, random spots along the green lines. This is a really quick painting that you can do uh, in an afternoon, in the evening, get together with your friends or family and just have a fun time painting together. Well, thank you for joining me. If you liked this tutorial, uh, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see some more tutorial videos. I will also put a link in the description bar to my art store if you wanna buy some art. If you're interested, I have a monthly newsletter that I send out, and so I'll put a link to that also. If you wanna sign up, it's free, it's a lot of fun. Again, thanks for joining me and stay creative, friends.